Hey everybody, welcome to Lessons from the Cockpit. I'm Belinda Sandor and today we're going to talk about how to grow your email list. Hey everybody, come on in and welcome to Lessons from the Cockpit. Um, today we're going to talk about how to grow your email list. And um, if for those of you who haven't met me yet, I'm Belinda Sandor and I am your host for Lessons from the Cockpit where I'm going to share both tactical and practical advice every single week for your virtual assistant business. Um, and these tips are for you if you're just starting out or if you've been a VA for a while. And I love to hear where you're coming in from. It looks like we have Frederica here from Amsterdam. That's awesome. I can see a bunch of you coming in. So let me know where you are and who you are, okay? Now, Lessons from the Cockpit is brought to you by the VA Connection. And at the VA Connection, we work with new, aspiring, and established virtual assistants to help them have thriving businesses using the skills they already have. And we do that in our community, our courses, and our coaching programs. So again, today we're going to talk about how to build your email list, a very, very critical piece of any thriving business. Um, but before uh, before we dive into that, I want to introduce myself and I want to hear where you guys are coming in from. So Maria is here from Pennsylvania. Somebody's here from Virginia Beach. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So come on in, settle down. Whoops. So um, <laughs> this is me and uh, my daughter, uh, Emily, and uh, she's 21 now, almost 22, which is crazy. And this is us back in 20, um, 2010. And she's about nine years old, and I'm just about to start um, my VA business. And, you know, it happened <laughs> to be a pretty scary time in my life because there was so much uncertainty. Um, I was uh, a few months shy of my 50th birthday, and, you know, the thing about these milestone birthdays, you know, the big 3 the big 4 the big 5 is that, you know, we have set expectations, you know, like in my 20s, I'm sure, you know, I was like, oh, when I'm 30, you know, I'll have this. And when I'm 40, I'll have that. And, you know, just it's like kind of daydreaming, kind of being a planner um, and kind of just, you know, wanting to set the course for my life. And by 50, you know, looking around um, at a young age at what 50 could look like, you know, I thought I'll have a job, um, I'll, you know, that I love, I'll have financial security, I will have saved money, because I'll be handling, you know, I'll handle that. Um, I'll be happily married, I'll have some kids, you know, and I just sort of painted this picture for myself. So as I, as I headed toward that 50th milestone, I, I couldn't believe where I was because I was getting divorced. I was selling my home because I couldn't pay the mortgage for over a year. There were all kinds of creditors, you know, showing up credit card um, payments, um, you know, past due and accumulating all kinds of fees. And I hadn't paid the taxes for seven years. And it's like, it's funny because, you know, you don't, it's, this happens over time. It like accumulates and then I guess for me, there was this critical moment where I just looked up and I was like, this is not good. <laughs> you know, like, what the heck am I going to do? Because, um, you know, I'm kind of laughing, but it's, it's a, <laughs> it, it, it was just so crazy because it's the last place I thought I would be, you know, I am a planner. I, you know, I, I was saving money, you know, bef earlier and I was on track and then everything kind of fell apart like a little bit at a time. And, um, but the thing was, I had to pull it together um, because I wanted to provide for my daughter. You know, I wanted her to have a life where, um, you know, I did. it wasn't like I was going to buy her a pony and a mansion on the hill, but I wanted her to have, you know, the money for the school field trip without a problem. I wanted her to be able to, you know, our house to be have, you know, filled with food. And, you know, I, I didn't want to be stressing out. And back then I was stressing out and it was not good because there, were, there was just so much pressure on me all the time. But there were really three things that I was focusing on in addition to being a mom. And that was figuring out how to get money in the house, figuring out how to handle the credit card debt, and then getting handled with the IRS. And so 
I just kind of broke them down. And I think the thing that really saved me was that I, after I had all the emotion, I just took the emotion out. I thought, you know what? I have to think of this as like a game because if I don't, I'll never be able to get any traction on it. So, so the first thing I did was I started to, um, fo I focused on getting the money in because without getting the money in, I can't do anything right. I'm dead in the water. So I knew that getting a job, making 50 or $60,000 a year was not going to cut it. Cause I had six figures of debt and I, and I lived in Boston, which is not inexpensive. And, um, and so I just thought I was temping for a while and I thought I can't make enough money temping, but this is showing me that people need, you know, people like me who know how to do admin work. So I just started telling everybody that I knew and, um, which was kind of the secret sauce. And the other part that really helped me was my newsletter list. And that's why I want to talk about that today. Cause that was at the core of my strategy for growing my business. Okay. So, um, so, so I started telling everyone I knew and I got my first client at the school bus stop and I got my second client um, in the buffet line of a wedding just by, you know, people saying, well, what do you do? Well, I'm doing admin work for entrepreneurs. I'm trying to turn it into a business. Oh, really? You know, tell me, um, tell me more about that. And so along the way, I met someone, my friend, client, Michael Katz, who said, you know, you have to start a newsletter. I was like, I don't write. I don't even know what you're talking about, you know, and I didn't want to bother people. I didn't want to be salesy. And he was like, no, no, you need to do this and I'll help you. And um, it's ironic because today um, we're going to have a session at noon and it's going to be all about email newsletters. So if this is a topic that interests you, I absolutely want you to come because I'm going to go through really the anatomy of the email newsletter. So I, um, I, like I said, I just started telling everybody and what I noticed, I'm just going to have a space heater on. It's cold in Connecticut. It's snowing. I think we're having a nor'easter or something like that. Lots of snow. Um, and it's just starting right now. But, um, but what, you know, but what I, what I knew was that um, I learned that prospecting wasn't going to get me there. I really just wanted, I needed to just tell everyone repeatedly about my business and and the email newsletter list and my just my contact list. And we'll talk about this unbelievable pot of gold. I, I could not have predicted it. I could not have predicted it. And that's why we're going to talk about today. So don't waste your time trying to figure out, will this person hire me? Will that person hire me? You know, forget about cold calling, the niche, all that crazy stuff that's getting in your way. Um, and, uh, and, and, and do this instead. All right, do this instead. So we've got a lot of people here. This is great. Tori published my 11th newsletter this morning. Thanks, Belinda, for giving me the tools to get started. Good for you. And Tori signed a new client this week. She's got another one boiling, coming, coming, uh, percolating. All right. So uh, Anna is here, a, a newbie. Tristy is here from Montana. Um, Anna is here also from Montana. Alexis is here. Hello. And Madeline, hello. And Tori's in South Carolina. And Melanie's in sunny England. Hello, Donna. Hello, hello. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Michelle is here. This is great. Dana's here from Colorado. Okay, you guys, let's do this. Let's do this, okay? So um, kind of fast forward here uh, from this spot of me, like, what the actual heck? Um, I've now, I've been in business as a virtual assistant since 2010. Um, my business, Rocket Girl Solutions, um, is, it still brings me so much joy. I love working with clients. I love doing the work. And um, I've worked with over 225 clients. Now, the first year that I was in business, I made $70,000 doing VA work. And then every year since then, I made um, at least $100,000 a year, which over 10 years is a million dollars. You know, really kind of crazy when you think about, um, you know, working from home in a little corner of my house and working hard. I'm not going to kid you. This wasn't like, you know, I put in an hour here and an hour there. I was full time working not only on my client work, but growing my business as well. But the result was that I started to have a lot of choices. You know, I started to have um, the ability to make decisions and, um, you know, put some, put some space and freedom and air, you know, air to breathe in, into my life. Absolutely. 
And this is what it looks like today. So um, I now live in Connecticut with my husband. Um, these are his boys. Um, this is my stepsons. <laughs> I'm still getting used to saying that. Um, we've been married since 2021. And, uh, you know, it's at the core of this was um, me taking charge. You know, I had given away a lot of my power. I, you know, I thought that the IRS was in charge of me. I thought my credit cards were in charge of me. I, I thought all of these external forces, I was just kind of like going in the wind, you know, or underwater is what it really felt like. And um, one day I just kind of woke up and I was like, what the heck? And I just let the anger kind of fuel me because I, I was sick of not feeling in charge you know, that's not a good feeling. And we are, in, we are in charge, you know, it's totally an inside game, all of this stuff. And it all, a lot of it happens in our head and the way that we set ourselves up and the way that we conduct ourselves. And, um, and I'm here to say that being self-reliant is an unbelievable feeling, you know, knowing how to get clients, knowing how to make money. And, um, and that's why I started the VA connection, because I want you to have that as well. It's very empowering. All right, so let's dive into this, okay? Now, all right. When I first started, you know, my client, Michael, told me, you know, you really need to grow your list. And I didn't understand the power. And it actually took, it took a couple of years for me to see it. And then looking back 12 years later, I can't even tell you what a massive um, asset, not only my list is, but the content that I created to send out to my list. You know, from that content, so many things can be created. Um, videos, podcasts, you know, all of these different things, um, you know, by doing what it takes to, to build your list. So with an email list, you can announce your business, send out newsletters, um, send event invitations, promote events, you know, and you can, you can engage with current and potential clients by growing that list. Now, when I first started out, my list was probably, um, I think it was like 100, 150, you know, so I really reached out to a lot of people to get their email addresses. And my email list now is about 1200. I have not been actively growing my Rocket Girl email list for about two years, but I added about 100 people at a time one at a time. And um, it does take effort, but imagine sending a newsletter out and hitting 1200 people who know who you are and like you with valuable content. It's like a gift in their inbox, right? It's a, to it's a total gift. Now, growing your list is more than just collecting names and you know emails. It's really about cultivating relationships. So for those of you who are thinking, you need this email list for sales. Sales are the result. It's not the why. The why is really about cultivating relationships, staying in touch with people who may or may not eventually work with you, but they might also know people who they can refer you to, right? I mean, think about, we talked about this in the Kickstart Challenge last week, which is, you know, two women, they're having coffee and one of them says, oh my gosh, I need a dentist. The same thing happens when someone says, my email inbox is a mess, or I need help with, you know, this or that, or do you know anyone that knows PowerPoint? And then all of a sudden the other woman or man is like, oh yeah, I do. You should call Belinda, you know, and that's how it happens. So that's one of the reasons you want to build relationships, have people understand the work that you do in a memorable, clear, simple way so that they can remember, you know, I'm a dentist, I'm a virtual assistant and not overcomplicate it. Um, and then you build this referral engine, okay? So you absolutely have to keep it warm. You have to keep it warm. So I, I want to show you in a very basic way how this works, and then we're, we're going to dive into a lot of detail. But essentially, what? so first let's talk about who you want on your list, okay? Friends, family, coworkers, past bosses, people you know in your community, your holiday card list, people you meet, you know, I, I want you to go wherever, you know, if you've got an old Rolodex, pull it out. You know, it's like the, the other day, it was interesting. I reconnected this, this was kind of, it was kind of, I didn't do this, but it the result was there. My mom um, put something on Facebook 
about International Women's Day and she commented about my, you know, us, the VA connection. And um, my babysitter, like the woman who babysat me, <laughs> I don't know, I'm 62, when was 50 years ago, haven't seen her in a million years, um, commented and said, what are you up to? And I told her, and, you know, I could have done a couple of different things. You know, I, I, I could have just like, let it go. I could have, you know, I could have said, oh, you know, I trained virtual assistants. And I thought, no, no, I'm going to put my website link there because people can look at it, they can see it, and I can spread the word that way. So it's really about, you know, providing, like, who knows, maybe this woman who babysat me all these years ago wants something new to do. You know, maybe she doesn't, maybe her daughter does. You know, but the thing is, is you just want to spread the word as much as you can. So here I am at 62 and my babysitter from when I, we moved out of that house into a different town. I think I was in third grade. So I like literally have not seen her since then. Okay. But we remembered each other. And there you go. Okay. So you want to, you know, you want to reconnect, you want to get on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, you know, email, you want to go through all the places and collect all the people together that you know. And then what you want to do is you want to create regularly scheduled original content. So you want to write a newsletter, okay? And then you want to engage with your audience. So if they, if they write you back, nice newsletter, way to go. Engage with them. Thank you. What did you like about it? Thank you. I really appreciate you letting me know. Okay. Social media, you can post your content on social media. And, um, and when people comment, you know, you comment back. Okay. It's, it's not about, it's just about making sure you're paying attention to the people who are engaging with you. Right. And then, and then you build relationships. So no selling, no cold calling, none of that. It's just genuinely building relationships. Okay. All right. And put any questions you have in the chat. Okay. Now, um, how to grow your list. There are many ways to do this. In case you're wondering, there is no, there's no simple, no, it is simple. It's not easy. <laughs> okay. There's a difference. There's no, um, there, there's no easy way to just like, like if you put on your um, social media or on your Facebook page, I'm doing a newsletter. I'd love you all to subscribe. You know, can I have your email address? Nothing will happen. You might get one email, maybe two, you know, and if you're a unicorn four, it's a much more labor intensive play and it's worth every single minute that you do it. Okay. So a lot of you, I already know you're saying to, to me, um, you know what? I text with people, um, I DM with people, I WhatsApp with people, I don't have their email addresses. You have to get their email addresses for this to work. People who are seriously in business, 99% of them, they're running their life on email. They're not, you can't run successful businesses in Facebook Messenger. You know, like it just doesn't happen. And so what you wanna do is you wanna get their email address and I'm gonna give you the exact words to use, okay? So you're going to do this on, um, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, Facebook, all the places where you have these relationships, text messages. So here's what it says. Um, so you're going to create your newsletter. If you want to know more about that, come to the session today at noon. I'm going to go into detail. All right. So hi, first name. So you're DMing, texting, messaging this message. Okay. Um, I, I, I write a, a weekly newsletter, monthly newsletter, whatever, um, uh, for X, right? For virtual assistants, it's all about, or so you would say uh, uh, for entrepreneurs, that's all about um, growing your business or whatever your newsletter is about. We'll talk about that at the newsletter session, okay? If you're interested, please send me your email address. You can always unsubscribe if it's not useful. Now, I have grown my list considerably like this considerably some people ignore it that's okay some people don't even see it you know i've said this before but i'm going to say it again if somebody sends any kind of message to my husband including me he will not get it he will not get it because he doesn't he's not he has a facebook account i don't know the last time he was on facebook you know when we got married i posted on his page that we got married he didn't even do that like he is you know LinkedIn, Facebook Messenger, when that turned into a separate app, he handed me his phone and he's like, take me off of this. I never want to see this again. I'm like, 
okay. And I did. So you don't want to take this personally. You know, before I was engaging with social media, I never checked my LinkedIn messages. You know, it's, it was, it's just too many places, right? So if they don't respond, don't sweat it. If they do, I want you to respond right away, grab their email address, put it into your MailChimp, your MailerLite, you know, any of the places. And, um, uh, and, and I, and I want you to then create this regularly scheduled content so that you stay in touch with them. All right. Good. Okay. So let's talk about, um, a freebie or a lead magnet. Okay. And, and I, and I want to talk about the, uh, this is going to go against everything you hear on the internet. Okay. So a lot of people on the internet are saying things like you create a, a, a freebie, a lead magnet, a giveaway, which is something you offer your audience in exchange for their email address, you know, like a checklist or, and we're going to talk about freebie types, but you know, a checklist to download, um, a guide, you know, something like this. And people think if they put this on their website, that people are, that, that subscribers are going to come to their website and they're going to subscribe and it's going to be great. And they're not going to have to do any asking of, would you be on my list? It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. Now, if you're running Facebook ads, which I do not recommend as a virtual assistant, um, and you're, you know, like, like with me having the Kickstarter challenge, we're putting a lot of Facebook ad money behind that. We've got the freebies. We're pushing people toward it. That is a very expensive thing to do. I would not recommend that for virtu for a virtual assistant to find clients. You want to find clients who are warm. You want to find clients who know someone that you know, because the quality of the client is through the roof 20 jillion times better. Okay. And you're not going to get scammed. I have never been scammed. 225 clients. I have never, I've had people approach me you know, to say, oh, you know, and as soon as I, and I realize, oh yeah, no, they're, you know, they're, they're approaching me. They don't know anyone I know. They've, you know, found me on the internet and it, it, it's not really how, it's not how it works. Okay. So I want you to create the freebie, but here's what I want you. And I want you to put it on your website. But what I also want you to do is I want you to send it to the people that, you know, one at a time. Hi, Joe. I just, you know, I just wrote this guide on blah, blah, blah. And I, and I think you'll enjoy it. I have, I'm sending it to you as a way of staying in touch of a way, a way for them to see the freebie, to see what you have to offer, to understand more about what you do, but don't expect people to think of you, sit down at their computer, go to the website and download the freebie. It's just not going to happen. Okay, good. Okay. So to create a successful lead magnet in the traditional way of putting it on your website, here are the steps you need to do, okay? So you create the lead magnet and I'm gonna give you, I think four examples of that and show you where you can download them, okay? So you create the lead magnet, whoops. Then you create, so you create a standalone opt-in page, okay? A standalone opt-in page where people can sign up for the freebie and you know what? I should have pulled one of mine up. Uh, I'll do that. We have time. Okay. Um, and then you want to create a uh, regularly scheduled original content. So you create the freebie, they opt in. And then as soon as they're in the system, they're going to get regularly scheduled original content, for your newsletter. Okay. Then what's going to happen um, is you're going to share your opt-in on social media. You know, you're going to invite people to, to your opt-in. And then you're going to engage with your audience. All right. And then it comes right back to create regularly scheduled original content. Okay. So you want to have this loop all the time and you want to use your freebie in your relationships to send it out to people to, you know, to, to create that connection. Okay. Now, if you don't know what you want your freebie to be about, I get that. It's not, it's not always, e always easy to figure it out. So you need to um, figure out what your audience wants from you, what, you know, what your people want for you. And you want them to say, I cannot believe she's giving this away. Like I cannot believe she's giving this away for free. Okay. And don't be afraid to give away your best stuff because a good lead magnet shows your expertise and it shows you, and it'll, it'll make the clients want to work with you if they want a virtual assistant. Right? So think about, what is the number one question you get asked all the time? Okay. And, and how can you get the people that you work with 
out of being overwhelmed. All right. And the other thing is, you know, what should, what, you know, there, there are things that I think that my clients, you know, should be asking me, like for, for, for me, I do a lot of email newsletters for clients and probably I would do a freebie on, on why the LinkedIn newsletter is such a great next step, you know, because it is a great next step. All of my clients have over 150, um, uh, contacts and it's a way to, to reuse their, you know, their, their content to, and focus it on their LinkedIn connections. So I would likely write something like that. Now, let me give you, um, let me give you, let me see here. How am I going to do that? One sec. I want to show you what this looks like. This is either going to work and be really simple or not. Oh, good. It's going to be really simple. Okay. One moment. I want to show you what, oh, here it is. Kajabi keeps changing what they call stuff. Um, okay. So here we go. All right. Let me grab the link. Okay. So this is what an opt-in page looks like. Okay. You can do this on multiple platform, not multiple platforms. Okay. Here, I'm going to bring it over. Okay, hold on. Here it comes. <laughs> Here it comes. All right. So, um, so this is this is where people sign up. So this is what a landing page is, looks like. Okay. So here it is. If you want to go right to the page, theVAConnection.com, getting dash great dash clients. And so this is this is the freebie. All right, getting great clients, create the business of your dreams as a virtual assistant, and they and they opt in, and then it is delivered to them via email. Okay. So. Yeah, the, the whole idea about, um, okay, hold on. Yeah, struggling with the what, struggling with the what. You know, what I did um, for my Rocket Girl Solutions freebie, which I only had one, it was a report called Seven Biggest Mistakes Small Business Owners Make When Trying to Grow Their Business. And I just talked about really basic things like not taking themselves seriously, you know, and not having a, a business card that represented them well, not having their name in the um, the from line in uh, in the um, in their email. You know, they they have the from line is their email address, all lowercase, and nobody knows who it's from. So these little sort of rookie mistakes um, were really things that I pointed out, and it it wasn't just like you know I sat down in an hour, I had something, I put a lot of time into it, but it served me well for many years, so it was worth the time. Okay, so lead magnet ideas, um, you can do um, you know a a, a, one, a one pager. You know the other thing that would be really good as a virtual assistant to do a very high level how to use Zoom because a lot of people know how to click the link, but they don't know how to really use Zoom, and you could just have the you know top five things you need to know about Zoom: how to record, you know, how to um, uh, how to set up an event, things like that. That would be really useful. Okay, so you can do things like cheat sheets. You can also do checklists, like you know how to onboard a new client, right? The ten things you need to do. Um, you could do a guide, which is more robust, um, you know. And I'll give you an example of that. Or you could do a video or audio, like I'm doing right now, right? So um, you want to use your lead magnet on, like I said, on social media, you know, link it to your social bios and talk about it whenever, whenever you can. Okay. So if you go, um, if you, it, this is an example right here. Now, if you go to the Facebook group, theVAConnection.com, and you look in the guides, there are four freebies there. Okay. And I think I'm really proud of them. So check them out. You will give me your email address and you'll see the whole sequence of, you know, what email you get, um, what the freebie looks like, how the whole download thing works. So go ahead over there and check it out. There's one on um, the ultimate VA task list. There's one on tools and apps that VAs need to run their business. Um, there's another one on um, the seven biggest mistakes um, people make when working. What is it? The virtual assistants make when working with clients. And then the one about getting great, great clients, which is actually a It's very robust. It's a chapter of um, my upcoming book uh, all about getting great clients. So you definitely want to check those out. Okay. All right. 
So your email list is really the center of your ability to scale your business. And the freebie is a big part of it, but it's a small part. Okay. I just want you to know that there's a lot and I'm addressing it because there's a lot of um, energy that goes into freebies. And a lot of people are talking about, you know, my lead magnet, my lead magnet. And yes, it's really good to have that. But what's going to really move the needle in your business is asking people, can I put you on my list? Can I put you on my list? So every time you go out for a networking event or you go out for, you know, a coffee event or, you know, you meet someone, um, you, you really want to ask them, you want to ask them to get on your list. And then you, what you really need to do too is put them on the list, you know, not just drop them on your desk or forget and then create that content, you know, every other week, once a month and keep that list really warm. Um, and it's something that, and I, you want to be doing it all the time, right? You want to be doing it all the time. It's not like I sat down at my dining room table and put everybody in that I knew, which I did do into my, you know, into my newsletter and got that going. But I, I continually, you know, am asking. And then you want to nurture it. You know, you really want to nurture it. So let me know if there's any questions, um, you know, but the, the big takeaway message is grow your list. Social media is important. Email is what is going to move the needle. A hundred percent. I have built three businesses um, by growing a list. I had an online store um, years ago, and I think my list was something like, I think it was like 18,000 people. Um, my rocket girl list is smaller because I wasn't, I wasn't selling a, a product. I was selling a service and it was all relationship based. And that list is about 1200. And then again, the way that I started the VA connection, I was literally connected to one VA, one VA who was local to me. Um, and I didn't really know a lot of people who were being VAs. And I started reaching out to people publishing a newsletter. And again, I, I met with my friend slash client, Michael, and I said, I want to start this online community and I don't know how to do it. And he said, start writing and start building your list. And that's what I did. And then once I had the list, you know, it was, um, it was just a matter of starting to have events and create things and, and, and build relationships. So Christine has a question. How is it set up that it automatically sends the freebie? Is this something MailChimp does? Might be a study hall question. Oh, Christine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, really good question. Um, this is such a huge topic, you guys. Um, so the way that you do it, you can do it a couple of different ways. And it probably is a study hall question, but um, what you wanna do is when someone is added to your list in MailChimp, they automatically get an email. It's, it's an autoresponder, and I can show you how that works later today. It's an autoresponder. And the email, the email says, click here for the link, you know, for the PDF. So go ahead and put your, and subscribe to one of the, the freebies that's in the Facebook group. Um, it's in, like I said, it's in the guides and I think it's, I, it's at the top, it's close to the top and, um, and you, you'll see the whole sequence. So there's the, the opt-in page then an email automatically goes out. And that these sequences are set up with Kajabi. Kajabi is expensive. You don't, I don't recommend it as a virtual assistant. Um, and then an email goes out with the link to the PDF. There's a thank you page and it's, and it's really nice. And you can do that um, in WordPress. You can do it with Gravity Forms. You can do it with Jot Forms. You can do it lots of different ways um, and get them, on, get them on your list and get that PDF to them. Good question. Great. Ugh, we're a little over. I could talk about this all day, you guys. Such an important topic. All right. Now, if you missed the challenge last week, you can go to vachallengereplay.com and totally there's all the um, all of the replays are there from day one, two, three, four, five, the campus tour for VA school. Also, you'll find there um, a mindset session all about money and virtual assistance. Yesterday, we gave a tour of high level tour of the debit card system. And today at noon, we're going to be um, talking about the email newsletter. So these are all bonus sessions um, for the VA client kickstart challenge that we had this week. However, if you want all of that information for those five days delivered to you in three hours, I've got you. So this Friday at noon, 
we are going to um, have another live stream session. It's called the VA Client Kickstart Workshop, where I've taken all of the important information and put it into a three hour session. So definitely get that on your calendar. You'll start to see emails and events in the Facebook group um, starting today. Okay, so I'd love for you to sign up. If you, it's for you really, if you didn't have time to do the challenge, if you did the challenge and you're still thinking about VA school and you want more, or you just want an infusion of energy, like let's get some energy going around my business because there's definitely energy in, in, um, in this session. It's a lot of fun. And again, it'll be, um, it'll be uh, Friday at noon and you'll see where you can sign up in, um, in the Facebook group. Okay, good. Hold on. I'm just going to see if there's a URL. Yes. VA challenge. I have them all on my wall. VA challenge workshop.com. VA challenge workshop.com will take you right to the page where you sign up and uh, I'm excited. Okay. So thank you for coming. Really important topic, growing your email list, have it be on your mind kind of all the time. Like how can I grow my list? You know, who can I tell? And, and then start providing that useful content on a weekly basis. I mean, on a, you know, every other week or, or, or once a month basis. And for those of you who are in VA school, you, um, as a bonus received the uh, done for you email newsletter system that has all of this information on how to set up every little piece of this um, in, and including 12 newsletters that were uh, written and professionally edited. So you can start immediately. Okay. Thank you for coming. Love to see you guys. And I'll see you later today. Bye for now.